Welcome back, everyone. This week, we're here on Lake Ontario following Team Energy Power Sports as they compete in the 2021 Scotty King of Kings Summer Salmon Fishing Tournament. The event is based out of Bluffers Park Marina, which is just east of Toronto. And this will be where 50 of Southern Ontario's best salmon fishermen will compete for a chance at a $20,000 first place prize, as well as biggest fish and a three fish Calcutta. It's going to be an exciting one. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Team Energy started their week off with a last-minute service from the mechanics over at the Energy Power Sports Shop Thursday morning. And by 4 p.m., the Alumacraft 205 was on its way over to Bluffers. Conditions were less than favorable for the run over, with eastern winds gusting up to 20 miles per hour, leaving Captain Dan with nothing less than three footers for his 24-mile run to Bluffers. Three fish start now. After about 20 miles, Dan sat down to check out some local zones just past the drop where he found some good marks and popped a mid-20s king almost instantly. That's a big king. It's a unit. Absolute brick of a fish. Holy. Oh. This was enough to tell him there's active fish in town. So he packed up and headed for the bluffs. Unfortunately, Friday's pre-fish didn't line up well with terrible northeast winds that made fishing past 100 feet of water a pretty messy troll. Team Energy Power Sports went further east to check out the Pickering area, only to find one salmon and a few rainbows out in 150 feet of water. With little success and game day less than 24 hours away, the team needed a game plan, but had very little confidence, especially how Friday's winds could affect the fish they found in previous days. The day ended off with only a handful of big fish and a 26-pound Chinook taking the Friday pre-fish prize. It looks like it could be anyone's game tomorrow, as things change quickly with those northeasterly winds. Some tough decisions will be made tomorrow morning, but this is what makes this tournament so exciting. Good luck out there, guys. Good morning, everyone, and welcome to the official tournament day. It's 5.30 a.m. and 50 boats are prepping for a shotgun start. Here's a quick rundown of the rules for today. 6 a.m., shotgun start. Six rod limit. Only Chinook and coho salmon can be weighed in and nothing under 20 inches in length. 10 points per fish and one point per pound of box weight. Lines must be out of the water at 2.30 p.m. and fish boxes must be on dock by 3.30 latest. Good luck and be safe out there to all competitors today. Good luck, guys. I think we're gonna go to that, that uh, filtration water. We're just gonna give it, man. Everyone went, Danny. Go, go. Energy Power Sport started off their day just off the drop in 180 feet of water, fishing a deep meat program. The fish were there, but their first few shots came up short, which hurt the team with an early push for a full six fish box. Come off, that's all right.
Ich wieder. They stuck it out in the deeper water, where they got two fish in their box by 10 a.m. By this time, the bite had started to die off, and the guy started thinking outside of the box. Should we do a shallow go? With no one else fishing the shallow water, Team Energy took their chance and switched up some baits to accommodate the shallower water, and they went for it. Almost instantly, once they hit 70 feet of water, the screen lit up which is just what they were looking for. Not five minutes after seeing those marks, the action began. They started with a quick bite that didn't stick and a triple header on Kings to follow. Ensued as their fish on a dipsy diver decided to run through their portside rigger cage, forcing the guys to hand the rods around and make some quick moves to get that fish in. Unfortunately, that shallow water bite didn't last for them. They did a few more passes and weren't able to move those fish, so they rolled off the drop again and took a few more strikes that came up short. Around 11.30 a.m., they took their sixth solid bite and got it to the boat, which would ultimately be their final box for the day. They received one more good bite right at 2.20 p.m. before pulling lines, and that wrapped up their day. Team Energy Power Sports secured a modest six fish box spread out over eight and a half hours of grinding it out. Thank you guys. Wow, that worked out really well. Danny, you've done it before. <laughs> they were less than confident with what they had, but nonetheless, six fish is a good box at any tournament. By the time 3.30 came around, there were plenty of boxes waiting to be weighed in.
So we're going to kind of get this going a bit quicker than normal. So we have a bunch of boxes to weigh in, which is which is awesome. So we'll get this started. Hopefully we can squeeze it all in before um, before we get rained on. All right, we got a six box, our first six box. Uh, all right, here we go. Here's our first place, first box, and first uh, place team. Total weight, 101.89. 101.89 on six fish. Great box, guys. Good job. First time in the event, kind of a break off from uh, Moby Nick's team. Apparently there was a bit of a mutiny last night on the boat, so they got to enter a team. Team number 50. Just all no, no need to measure the uh, good solid box, guys. Do you guys run around a bit to get those? No? All right. Six fish box, here we go. Team number 50. Ninety-nine sixty-four. Ninety-nine sixty-four. Good box, guys. Congratulations. Round of applause for Team Energy Power Sports. Their box weighed in at 99.64 pounds, with a total point count of 159.64, leaving them with a fourth place finish in the 2021 Summer King of Kings Tournament. All right, our fourth place team. First time in the event, Team Energy Power Sports. Team Fishing for Tails ended off with a 118.40 pound box with a total point count of 178.40 to take home first place. Congratulations to our top 10 leaderboard teams this year. The fishing sounded tough across the board and these are the events where every last fish counts. So well done to you all. We hope you enjoyed this installment of the 2021 Lake Ontario Tournament Circuit sponsored by Silver Salmon Challenge, Energy Power Sports, and Aluma Craft Boats. Stay tuned for the August Coburg King of the Lake, where Lake Ontario's best anglers will compete again for their chance at being the King of the Lake.